Hello friends, in this video we will discuss the important events that happened during January 8th to January 14th, 2024. If anyone of you missed my January first week's video, I have shared the link in the description. Please go through it. India's first ever Inland Waterways Development Council meeting was held on 8th January 2024 in Kolkata, West Bengal State. And this meeting was hosted by Ministry of Shipping, that is Sarbananda Sonowal. The key initiatives of this meeting are India will be unveiling IWAS, India's Inland Waterways Authority of India's River Cruise Tourism Roadmap Targeting 2047. And the other key initiative is guidelines to push green transition of inland vessels using alternative fuels like methanol, biofuels, etc. India's first app based 100% e-bike taxi service called Bayou was launched by Assam State. This was launched on 8th January 2024 and this was launched by Assam State Minister of Transport Mr. Parimal Suklabhaija in Gahoti. And this app was launched uh, Assam government in collaboration with Bikozi Ecotech which is a startup from Assam state. As we all know, artificial intelligence is an emerging technology in the world. It is in news everywhere these days. So Microsoft has launched artificial intelligence AI Odyssey in India to train around 1 lakh developers for AI projects. And this program was launched on 8th January 2024. When is NRA Day celebrated? Non-resident of India Day. It is on 9th January of every year. And why this NRA Day is celebrated? To mark the contribution and achievements of overseas Indians in various fields. And this NRA Day was introduced in 2003 to commemorate the return of Mahatma Gandhi to India from South, Af South Africa. Recently, Gabriel Attal was elected as a new Prime Minister for France. He was elected on Jan 9th, 9th January 2024 and he is the youngest Prime Minister in the history of the France and he is of 34 years old. On 10th January, we celebrate World Hindi Day. And why this Hindi Day is celebrated? To spread awareness about the significance of Hindi as an international language. And the theme of this World Hindi Day this year is Bridging Traditional Knowledge and Artificial Intelligence. And we started celebrating this World Hindi Day from 2006. India unveils a new indigenous assault rifle called Ugram for armed forces. And DRDO has developed this Ugram and it has been launched on 10 January 2024. And it has a caliber of 7.62 millimeters and will have an effective range of 500 meters. Recently, Swatch Servection Awards of 2023 was given on 11th January by our President Draupati Murmu at Bharat Mandapam at New Delhi. In this, Indoor and Surat bagged jointly the Cleanest Cities Award. And this is the seventh consecutive win for Indoor as a Cleanest City. Saswat in Maharashtra received the cleanest city in the category of urban centers with a urban center means which is with a population less than 1 lakh. As we all know, recently there were elections conducted in Bangladesh and Sheikh Hasina was re-elected as a Prime Minister of Bangladesh and this is for the fifth term she has elected as Prime Minister. And this, she was elected recently on 11 January 2024 and she has hold a record that longest serving Prime Minister in history of Bangladesh. National Youth Day is celebrated on 12th January of every year in India to commemorate the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. The main objective of celebrating this National Youth Day is to make better future by motivating the youth and spread, spreading the ideas of Swami Vivekananda. 
As we all know that on 22nd Jan 2024, there is a grand opening of Ayodhya Ram Mandir. So on this occasion, Chhattisgarh government took an initiative called Sri Lamlal Darshan Scheme for the residents of Chhattisgarh. This scheme is about taking the residents of Chhattisgarh, Chhattisgarh between 18 to 75 years of age to have Ayodhya Ram Darshan. And what are the key features of this scheme? Around 20,000 beneficiaries will be taken a pilgrimage for Ramlala Darshan under this scheme. And the residents of Chhattisgarh between 18 to 75 years of age, as I mentioned, who are declared fit in the health checkup will be eligible. Disabled individuals are also eligible to go for Darshan with the support of family member. But in the first phase of this scheme, people will be eligible who are above 55 years of age only. Mumbai Trans Harbour Link MTHL was inaugurated on 12 January 2024 by our Prime Minister Modi ji. And this is the longest sea bridge which is about 21.8 kilometers. And this bridge connects between South Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. And this is also called as Atal Setu. The first Indian woman to receive Arjuna Award in horse riding is Divya Kirti Singh of Rajasthan state. She is the only woman from Rajasthan to receive Arjuna Award in the last five years. The new Guinness world record was set by a singer Suchita Satish by singing in most number of languages in a single concert. She sang in around 140 languages. And she sang in the concert called Concert for Climate, which held in UAE. And Sucheta Satish, she belongs to Kerala state of India. International Camel Festival. Bikaner in Rajasthan hosts this festival every year. And the St Rajasthan State Tourism Department organizes this festival. Bikaner celebrated this festival on 12th to it was a three days festival that is from 12th to 14th January. If I am not wrong, this festival will be celebrated on every second Saturday and Sunday of January of every year. This festival is dedicated to the ship of the desert called Camel. And the theme of this festival is Icons of Bikaner. International Kite Festival and this will be hosted by Ahmedabad which is in Gujarat state. And this is the third, 33rd International Kite Festival this year. So Ahmedabad is also called as Kite Capital of Gujarat. The Kite Festival takes place on 14 Jan every year as a part of the festival called Makar Sankranti and it continues till 15th Jan. That is for 24 hours it takes place. Recently our Prime Minister Modi ji launched a campaign called Swach Mandir campaign. As the name suggests, it is to clean our temples and this campaign will run from 14th Jan to 22nd Jan this year. The target of this campaign is to make our pilgrimage centers clean and neat. Recently, Golden Globe Awards was organized on 7 January 2024 in California. In that, Open Hammer has bagged a Best Film Award. And this year is the 81st Golden Globe Awards function and these awards are given for film and American television productions of 2023. So these are the important events that happened during 8th Jan to 14th Jan. So see you again in the next video. Thank you.